Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do a sunset reflection painting. It's super simple and easy, so let's get started. First, we draw the outline of my painting. Here we are drawing a huge sun on the horizon line and its reflection on the other side of the horizon line. And few small shrubs at the bottom. That's it for our outline. It's very simple and easy. Then we go with the wet on wet technique for the sky. I'm wetting the surface with a flat oval brush from Silver Brush Black Velvet series. Just love this series as they hold good amount of water and are perfect brushes for artists who wanted to learn or paint for hobby. Then I have here Bristol Mop brush in size 0 for painting the sky. These brushes are awesome as they are hold as they hold lots of water and it helps in blending the colors so perfect. I have chosen the evening sunset sky, so my color palette has yellow, orange, reds and pink. You are completely free to go with any color palette you like and I really love to see your work. On that note, we will complete painting the sky and will be back with you guys for painting the water. I'll speed up the process here because if you have seen my other videos, you should be knowing the technique to paint the sky by now. Always keep vibrant and keep layering until you are happy with it. Times you will observe that your darker colors are blending into the lighter colors as there is too much water and it is left as such your painting might not turn out the way you want it so the quick tip for this is to go and remove the dark paint with a clear wet brush doing this will lift the color and no more seeping will be happening I have been doing this for the sun here as the orange is bleeding with the yellow too much onto the right corner of the sun now we will start painting the water. We will first paint the reflection of the sun. Always remember, reflections of an object in the water is not always perfect. It is wavy and flowing to the other sides. Here we are doing an ombre coloring technique where the color goes from lighter to dark from the center to the ends and gives that vibrant reflection effect to our painting. When doing this, we need to make sure that the colors are blended with each other perfectly so we don't see any harsh edges on the painting. I'm doing a lot of paint lifting here as it's having lots of water and it's not drying up fast. For this technique, the layer should not dry fast as we need to work on blending all the colors that we are using. So it's it look it will look flowing and blended. I'm happy with my layer and now I go and quickly dry this with my heat tool from Ranger. After drying, I felt like I need my painting to be more vibrant. So went with another layer and blending with the colors. So don't hesitate to do in as many as layers you wanted. Just keep painting until you are happy with it. And I'll dry it with the heat tool again and quickly paint the shrubs with the black.
well we have painted the water but it doesn't quite look like it's water because it's missing the texture yeah texture is something that will change the look of your painting every object has a texture like smooth rough or some surface patterns these things give the illusion of the object that we are painting to be realistic so the texture for water is defined by its highlight points where the water shines when the sun rays are fallen onto it for this we will go in the same ombre technique with the colors and we will paint teeny tiny water waves it should be like there are no there, there are not much evident but when you see the painting it should be felt like something is there i hope you guys are trying to understand what i'm trying to say uh, so here I'm using my Princeton Neptune brush in the size 0. This is one must-have brush. I just love how perfect we do uh, those minor and tiny details with this brush. So here we do the highlight waves with the lighter colors, yellow and orange, and the shadow waves with reds and pinks. Shadow waves are like under waves. It's like every highlight wave would have a shadow wave. I guess that made sense. Anyways, we will complete painting the waves and some coconut trees. And we are done with the painting. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more painting tutorials and hit that bell icon to get notified. Let me know what do you think about this video in the comment section below. I really appreciate your support for me in doing this. 
I'm learning and my motor is to learn with you guys. I'll meet you in my next video. Until then, happy painting!